Welcome back. WJCL News on top of two murders in 48 hours in Beaufort County. The Sheriff's Office captured a suspect in the first, yet city police are still searching for whoever killed a man in his front yard Friday night. That's right. Tonight, family members are speaking out. They talked with WJCL Chelsea McDonald. Horrible situation for them, Chelsea. Yeah, it really is. Kevin and Jennifer, family members don't know who would do this. They say Nicholas DeGrosse didn't have enemies and everyone loved him, especially his fiance. She watched him take his last breath. Now, instead of walking down the aisle to marry the love of her life, on Wednesday, she'll walk to his grave. All that Amanda Allen has left are photos, memories, and an engagement ring. His hugs, hearing his voice say, I love you. Or when I was at work, he would randomly text me and say, hey, I love you, babe. Those are things I'm never going to get back. She describes her fiance, Nicholas DeGrosse, as a teddy bear who loved his kids. Whoever did this is a cold-hearted person took a family man. Friday, their family had just gotten home from dinner. DeGrosse stepped outside. Allen stayed inside with their kids. I heard four loud bangs. Her fiance shot and killed right in their front yard. I ran up to him and I flipped him over and I tried to get him to wake up. I kept trying to open up his eyes and I kept trying to fill his heart to get a heartbeat and I kept telling him to wake up. Buford police officers say DeGrosse was dead at the scene. They're investigating his death as a homicide. I still can't believe it. I'm so in shock because I can't imagine anybody wanting to hurt him. Senseless. And I don't understand how someone could just take someone's life like that with, you know, no remorse. DeGrosse family members are in disbelief but want justice for their nephew and cousin. I have faith that they're going to do what they have to do and they're going to catch this person. They planned on marrying in October. Police are still looking for a suspect, and if you have any information, call Investigator Dowling. That number is located at the bottom of your screen. Reporting in the studio, Chelsea McDonald, WJCL News, working for you.